our Jason Allen. He is in North Fort Worth now where he's been watching those developments there. Jason. Steve, we've been getting this kind of burst of medium to almost heavy, very, very cold rain here in the last few minutes. It, it started to taper off just a little bit right before we joined you, but that's just adding to the problems out here. We picked this spot because we wanted to show you the difference between the treated, the maintained roads and the spots that aren't. So you may see traffic back here on North Tarrant Parkway moving around pretty easily. But then on this road where we are, which, which leads to some stores that aren't open, it, it's a solid sheet of ice. There's not been any traffic out here. They haven't been maintaining this roadway. So this is what you see on the roads that are not been maintained. So you can kind of see that difference when we're out on the highways today if we show you some video. I-35W, uh, the 820 loop, I-30, they were all improving noticeably throughout the day today, especially compared to yesterday. The North Tarrant Express had 11 plows. They got a dozen spreaders to use on their segments. There were still slushy and icy spots where people were able to get out and move around on the main roads. Secondary roads here have still been somewhat of a challenge. They saw a truck today that was jackknifed on 183 in White Settlement on a road that really looked like it was melting, but if you strayed out of that one lane, it was still solid ice. City and TxDOT crews today are still running in around the clock shifts here. And here are the latest numbers from Fort Worth on the city's response. Transportation crews have now been to more than 1,100 locations. They have put sand down in more than 800 of those spots. The city's closing in on 1,300 tons of sand salt mixture spread out, and they've handled nearly 100 priority calls from police and fire and hospitals. That's when they get to alerted to those spots that really need some sort of attention or maintenance. Uh, as we've been mentioning, conditions still expected to be icy tonight, but maybe some signs that city officials are seeing the light at the end of the tunnel or county officials are. A Tarrant County announced they are going to open offices here tomorrow, although they're waiting until 10 a.m. to do that hoping that things melt a little bit.